doctor, Slade, known, of course, for his Christmas hit, Merry Christmas, Everybody, among many others, joins us now with his wife, Susan. But for the last five years, they have kept a secret that only their closest friends and family knew. Noddy was actually given six months to live after being diagnosed with throat cancer. Um, we're delighted to say you have defied the odds, haven't you, Noddy? <laughs> you're, you're doing well now. Yeah. But I wonder if you could rewind back to that day when you were given that news. How did, how did you take it? How did well, it was that? actually uh, cancer of the esophagus, not throat cancer, right. that I was diagnosed with. And uh, I'd had no real bad symptoms. And I got caught, called in by my doctor to do my normal six monthly MOT, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. checks of your bloods and your, uh, your, you know, your pressure, blood pressure, pressure, your cholesterol. And he found an anomaly in my blood and he says, I don't like the look of this. So they sent me off to hospital. I had a scan and they found a massive growth in my esophagus. Mm -hmm. Well down the line it was. And he said, uh, we have no cure for this. You've got six months. Gosh. And then, uh, of course, it was a shock. Mm. But me being me, I take everything philosophically from day to day. I have a very, very good outlook on life. Mm. I take every day as it comes. I always have, even from a kid. And I went to the Christie Hospital in Manchester and they said, uh, I don't know what we can do, but there's only one, maybe, um, only one, and it's a big maybe, uh, we've got this experimental drug, uh, chemotherapy drug, okay. that is very, very powerful. Um, we've never given it to anybody over 60 years old. I was 72 at the time, okay. five years ago. And they said, if you want to be part of the experiment, the trials, uh, we will offer it you because you've got a good mental attitude. Mm -hmm. And uh, will you accept it? And I said, well, what have I got to lose? I've only got six months anyway. So I might as well give it a try. And five years later, I'm still standing up. So <laughs> Amazing I was news. quite chuffed, actually, that I got through it. <laughs> it wasn't easy. I'm quite pleased about it. <laughs> I was more worried for my family, yeah. my missus, of course, and my kids, and my grandkids, I was more worried how they were yeah. going to take it. Well, well I was going to say, Susan, because when you hear news like that, mm. you told your partner's got six months to live. I mean, it is a bombshell, isn't it? it, it yeah, How yeah. did you cope? You decided not I didn't, to tell anyone. I didn't, I didn't cope on the moment they tell you. You can't. It's like something... It's the worst thing. You dread it. We... we, we obviously realised, you know, the doctor had realised that there was something wrong. He actually was very anaemic. He had lost quite a bit of weight, mm -hmm. um, which we couldn't really attribute to anything, but he wasn't awfully unwell. Mm -hmm. When we, they went into it a little bit more, they asked him about his swallowing and, and he hadn't mentioned that he'd had a bit of difficulty swallowing. Mm. It wasn't terrible, but he, he'd noticed... Only tough stuff I he'd noticed swallow, something. Like, yeah. But I was, when they asked him that specific question, he went, oh, yeah, no, a bit. Mm. And I was like, you never mentioned that? But he, he had just gone... But, so, yeah, I, I was just kind of hoping and hoping and hoping that it wasn't going to be anything too terrible. And then for that, those words to come out of somebody's mouth and just say, well, mm. I really don't think there's anything we can do and it's six months. It's just, your head explodes. It's awful. just, it's just I mean, the, the, awful. Th this was going to be wonderful news for lots of people yes. who are watching. It's, it's a very hopeful story. Yes. You were even back on stage this summer, weren't you? I was, yes. I was doing uh, <laughs> some gigs with a ten-piece boogie-woogie jazz band led by <laughs> Tom Seals <laughs> and it was a two-hour show and I thought, I've got something to be thankful for five years on. So I might as well get back on stage and do a bit of performing. It's gone really well. We sold out everywhere. And I'll probably do some more next year, hopefully, with him. Uh, we have got one show coming up uh, in Crewe in December, which is his hometown. I'm only doing a very slight guest on it. Uh, he's got a lot of guests on that particular show. Mm. Uh, but I was just thankful I'm alive, and so I thought... I'll get up and, and that is why play we, to the we're people. talking about it now. We, we did keep it a secret for a long time. It was the only way we could, like, deal with it. Yeah. But actually, now I know when I was in my really darkest moments, all I would do is look for stories of people who had defied odds and there was some kind of hope. And if we can just kind of give people hope, it's such a difficult thing to go through that sometimes that bit of positivity really helps. If you're just not as generally positive as he is all of the time, and most people aren't, that's unusual for him to take, you know, to take things in your stride is difficult. We haven't got much time left. Obviously, you're, you, we're going to hear your, your, your great hit over Christmas. Okay. What are your plans? 
Uh, well, as usual, we, we have a family Christmas. We always have done every family. We get together and we have a good time, don't we? We, uh, we don't put our record on in the house. <laughs> well, you don't do that? <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, I mean, if they want to hear it, they get it live. <laughs> Uh, I wake my missus up every Christmas morning with the famous It's Christmas. You do. Yeah, so just, just, shocked, so, just so I can be really <laughs> sure. I can't hear that well, well in this week. Week. I'm sure lots of our viewers will also be waking up they to that. Thank will. you both so much for coming. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.